Hey guys, Jerry Mitchellick here, and I've got a new Vortex product I want to show you. It's their Razor HD Gen 3. It's a true 1 by 10 power telescopic sight. It's pretty exciting. I've been shooting 3 gun now since 83, so I've been doing it a long time, and I wish I'd have had this back in the 80s, but give you an idea of its evolution of what competitors want, and uh, it's an exciting scope. So we're going to start at the front. It's a 24 millimeter objective lens. It's a 34 millimeter tube. It features the low capped uh, turrets here, and this is an MOA reticle, so the, the click value is a quarter of an inch. Pretty trick. And on the side, there's a rear stat here for the, to light the reticle, but what's, what, I, what I like the way this reticle is lit, it's only the central part of the reticle that is lit. And the way the reticle is made, is a small dot in the middle bracketed by four segments, so when you have it down on one power and you light it up, this is a truly daylight bright reticle. So you go out in the middle of the daytime, one o'clock, pointing at a bright white target, you can, have a, you can have a power setting with this rheostat that you can see the center of that reticle very easily. So daylight bright, that's a great feature. And going to the rear, what they've paid a lot of attention to on the power selector, this one I call it a shift knob. It's an optional, but uh, optional feature, uh, both right on. This is a one by 10. So on one power with that centrally lit reticle, you can shoot this thing with both eyes open, and when you have both eyes open, the scope almost totally disappears. So the field of view is spectacular, just like you would have a, a red dot on your scope, I mean on your, on your rifle. But if you wanted to shoot out to a thousand, there you are. And on this reticle, it's the MOA reticle, and they also have a Milrad reticle. Of course, on a Milrad reticle, this is a, these are first focal plane reticles. So the way this one is made, the central dot is 200, then they have a three or four or five and a six, and it goes into another calibration on the bottom of the reticle. So you can shoot out to a great distance with it without doing anything except bringing it up into the target zone. It also has wind values uh, uh, there to be had also. And on top of the reticle, there's a range finding feature. So if you're, uh, you can imagine that they don't allow range finders and you need to bracket a target and uh, find the range, you can do that relatively quick. It doesn't have a huge, objective lens but you really don't need it. The quality of the glass and the coatings is what makes this optic what it is. So once you look through a, an optic that is really <laughs> set up correctly with the right quality glass, uh, other ones that look like looking through a bottom of a coke bottle or something. So anyway, so there you have it guys. It's 10.1 inches long, uh, weighs about 20, I think about 21 and a half ounces. So uh, all in all, for what you get, it's a great optic. If you look at it compared to the one by six, it's not much longer, of course, a little bit bigger tube and uh, great field of view, easy to shift. It's just a spectacular scope. So what you'll probably see me at a competition, if it's an accuracy oriented three gun stage, I'll probably have one of these on an upper and I'll have another, uh, another <laughs> upper with a one by six on it. So both great optics, uh, different features for different uh, applications to the, uh, to the game. So, okay, I know what you're thinking. We're mighty close to that steel and we are. And the only reason that I'm standing this close is because this is rifle rated steel. And what I'm shooting for ammunition today is frangible ammunition. It's a reduced hazard ammunition. Uh, the whole idea behind the bullet when it strikes something hard like this, it'll break into a million little pieces so it has less of a tendency to bounce back. Always want to have the right ammunition and the right targets. So, and I love my chamber flags, guys. The older I get, the more I like this. Safety on, got chamber empty. So uh, let's go ahead and load it up. And, uh, and the whole idea for how the telescopic sight in, in competition or in general use, it has to be flexible enough to go from close to far really quick. So this is the close end of the, of the application, just like you would a red dot. So let's go ahead and tickle the trigger a little bit. Let's shoot the center target just six times. Here we go. All right. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Look. <laughs> really? Yep. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll pick it up. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that, guys. That's, uh, I'm actually about 150 yards from the house here on the range. I'm kind of fortunate to live close to a property like this. And that was my wife calling Kay. She, was, uh, she heard that rate of fire. She knew I was out here filming. 
And uh, she said, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Let's go back and review it. Uh, first shot, so I did, I did six rounds in about, I don't know, nine hundredths, about point nine hundredths of a second. She said, if I couldn't do any better than that, I need to pick the gun up and go home. So <laughs> she wanted, <laughs> she wants to be impressed. Anyway, let's go ahead. <laughs> the dangers of living close to home. Let's go ahead and pick the rate of fire up. I'll tell you another little story while I got your ear. Uh, it was the, the 14th, Kay's out of town, been out of town for a couple of days. I'm home and uh, batching it, you know, and then I get a phone call late at night and uh, Kay's wishing me a happy anniversary. And I'll go, Dang it, I did it again. I forgot our anniversary, it's 28 years now. So I felt like a dog. I went to bed that night thinking, boy, was, Am I in trouble? Then yesterday, I'm thinking, the 15th, I'm thinking, well, the 15th was our wedding anniversary. Well, she was wrong too. So, <laughs> so I called her back and we, we, had to, we had to make a policy to, to make everybody happy. She needed some input. She said, just take me hunting. And I said, I love you even more. So this is for you, baby. We're gonna pick up the speed. Here we go, six in the middle. Yeah, that'll make you happy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that's a little better. She knows when I'm not. Ooh, that was really good. Let's take a look at those for a second. I got excited. 15, 13, 12, another 13. Wow, so we're burning them out pretty good. So that's about 60, under 710. So I, I really wasn't putting too much effort into it. But the good thing about a reticle like this, guys, when you have an extremely large field of view, when I'm shooting something this close, I can always see the target next to it. And that's true speed, is you always have to see where you are and where you want to be. So let's just go ahead and run them. Let's run them left to right. See if we can put six on target in about a second. Here we go. Ooh, that was a light trigger. Let me do that again. Here we go. Yeah. Always had a field of view, always saw what was coming into the field of view. And that's what's exciting about this optic, is the fact that it gives you that luxury up close, but also the ability, if I want to go to long range, just flip it up, guys. One by 10 power, no excuse not to have at least three of them. Get some.